1853, New Orleans was a key shipping port and one of the most important cities in the United States. New Orleans was known for its architectural beauty and music and famous Mardi Gras balls. Its citizens came from Europe and Africa and were more likely to speak French than English. What we learned in the research is that New Orleans really considered itself a world of its own. At the time the story takes place, Americans from the north had begun to come into New Orleans to live. And New Orleanians really called them Americans. They didn't consider themselves American the way we do now. So they didn't really like these people who they felt were loud and they couldn't speak French and they had different customs and different traditions from uh, New Orleanians. Cecile meets Marie Grace for the first time at the music lesson and hears Marie Grace speak. She is prepared to dislike her because she realizes that she's American. I think an advantage that Marie Grace has is that she is an outsider. She didn't grow up with intense racial biases or prejudices and so she is, she is more open to um, forming friendships and treating people as individuals. So Cecile in her mind was prepared to not like this girl who would be so different from herself. But um, at the moment they speak and she looks into Marie Grace's eyes, she feels a, a connection, a possible friendship connection. Cecile's willingness to trust Mary Grace even though she's white. Mary Grace's willingness to trust Cecile even though she's a free girl of color and obviously wealthy, you know. They both had to make this little this little gap, this little jump. And the fact that they're willing to, to make that jump makes all the difference in their lives. Both girls um, transcend the, the racial barriers of their time and both girls learn from that. They're friends of the heart very quickly. And I think it's much like the connection that my co-author Sarah and I had when we first met each other. We thought alike about our characters and what we wanted to do with them. The friendship of Mary Grace and Cecile is really special. They both see things in the other that maybe they don't realize in themselves. While Cecile and Marie Grace enjoy their budding friendship, Reports of an outbreak of yellow fever begin to circulate around the city. Soon, tens of thousands of New Orleans citizens are touched by the disease. A very deadly yellow fever epidemic um, swept New Orleans in 1853. And that is the overall arc of our stories for the girls. It changed the city in a lot of ways because so many people died, but it also brought the city together in many unexpected ways. I think it's definitely a reason that the girls' friendship grew so strong um, because they both experienced this in different ways. I wanted readers to look at something like an epidemic and know as horrible as it was, it was people survived. and no matter what happens along the way that it's not the end of the world people can can work together and find solutions Mary Grace discovers that there are people who need help even more than she does and they are the orphans at Holy Trinity and both girls were appreciated and their help was very badly needed <laughs> like please come help us and the girls rose to that that challenge Cecile volunteers to help prepare food. She volunteers to just sit with her brother and talk to him and sing to him. Every child has a gift. Um, sometimes it takes us many years to figure out what those gifts are or how to use them. But that's one of the things that I wanted our readers to begin to think about. Most of all, I want them to have fun, and I want the reader to be going one more chapter and having either the parent say, no, we'll wait tomorrow, and the teacher saying, tomorrow, we'll read the next one. And uh, I find that fun.